Well, I did decide to repair this silver town. All the coils were good, and uh, the only major items wrong with it are the broken tube socket and the intermediate audio transformer is bad. So I went ahead and started taking out the tube socket while I was waiting for the parts to arrive. I think you remember what it looked like and uh, took a little time to get the old one out and of course marking the leads paying attention to where the wires go back when I get the new tube socket. Well here's the problem. A broken tube socket and when I got the new one in as you can see we have another problem. The physical size of the two sockets are quite a bit different and I've got to suspend the new one using rubber grommets somehow. So I looked through some old parts and came up with a washer which I notched the large washers at top here and some rubber grommets and some smaller washers and and some screws and another nut to try and hold everything together and that seemed to work pretty well. In this picture you can see the plan all put together. It looks a little uh, cattywampus but uh, it's surprisingly strong and to ensure further strength I turned it over and uh, soldered everything together that way it can't come loose and I also, uh, any uh, thing left over that I couldn't solder, I put a dab of super glue on it also. And it is very, very strong. This next picture, I got a close-up of it. I had to uh, eventually file out the inside of the large washer so it was uh, completely round. And that took uh, some time to do before I could get it to fit correctly into the chassis as you see here. This side shot being mounted in the chassis really shows you how it worked out and as you can see I had to add one more washer needed to take up just a little bit of slack and it worked out perfect. This next one you can see both of the uh, poles holding up the socket suspended by the rubber grommets. And a little bit farther back shot here you can see that I while I was there I replaced a couple of caps and then just to make sure everything was working correctly I put a tube in the socket and it is suspended and floats on the rubber grommets just like it's supposed to. Now the next thing I'm going to tackle is that intermediate audio transformer.